Let's go ahead and get started with chest, triceps, and shoulders. We're going to start with some little arm circles here. Follow the hands down. And palm of the hand up. Let's go back. All right, open and close. Cross your arms. And let's bring those elbows to a 90 degree. We're going to close and open. Two more. Another one. All right, now reach up. This window here because I see a little glare on there. All right, now let's go ahead and bring the palm of the hand down and then come on up. All right, so be careful with your shoulder. I don't think that was that one. Let's just leave this one. No. <laughs> All right, let's combine everything. Here we go. Close, open, reach, and then down slow. Here we go. Close, open, reach, and down slow. Shoulders are burning already. Here we go. We got one more. All right, just let the arms down, shake it a little bit. We're gonna do some swimmers forward. And let's go back. We'll step behind and reach. And switch, other side. Time side. Yeah, I don't know what's making this big glare here on the screen. Maybe it's this one. All right, place your heels on your thighs. You're going to do the cat and cow breathing. Drop the belly till one goes up. Breathe out, draw the navel to the spine and chin to the chest. I right, breathe in. And out. One more. Now we're going to stop right here in the center. Bring your left shoulder to the right knee and hold. Switch, hold, and again, one more, back to the center, roll it all the way up. All right, so for today we have two exercises, uh, back to back, 10 reps each one of them, uh, we'll repeat them three times. The two exercises I'll show you first and then you uh, see what weight you might need. So the this one here is a little bit different uh, than you have done before, I'm actually going to start with that one. So for that reason, you might want to go light first and then we'll get heavier if you need. Our first one is called, it's a rotation of ch uh, chest press, but it's different than what we normally do, okay? So normally, we do a rotation of chest press like this, right? So uh, out like this. Get my dumbbells out of the way. So this one, you're going to start the palm of the hands in like you're getting ready to curl, but you're not going to curl. And you're just gonna press it and you turn. So it's in and out. Okay, like this. Your second exercise is going to be a spider push up. And for the spider push up, you can do it on the wall. You don't have to do this on the floor, but I'll show you what that is. There is many different levels you can do this one, okay? So one, I can't have it do dumbbells here on the side. This is a wide push-up, but you step in and you do a push-up. And then you step in with the other side and do a push-up. If you make it a little harder, you can float as you do the push-up. Float. If you're doing this on the wall, you're going to do one push-up, one side. All right? It's going to, uh, it does work your core while you do that. So we are going to start with that. Different rotation chest press, do a rotation chest press, but different than you normally do. And as I mentioned, start light to see how it feels. I have my 15, what is called with um, a 10? And then I might try to do 12 and see how it feels. Or maybe I'm just going to go start 15, you know, I'll see. Alright, here you go. So, lay down on the floor. 
and have the palms of the hands facing you, facing your head. Okay? So your elbows are bent at a 90 degree. And we're going to press it up and turn the palms of the hands out towards your legs. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to count now. Here we go. One. And then bring those elbows in. Uh, two. Three. Because you're rotating and, uh, and it's going towards the elbow, making sure you don't feel anything on that area. You grab it lightweight. Lighter if you need to. Alright? I want more. Woo. So you should immediately feel that on your triceps. Alright? The, 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 uh, the triceps crosses the elbow. So when we extend the elbow, we work through the triceps. So we want to make sure that it's not a weight that's too heavy, that you're feeling more on your elbow than you're feeling on the triceps. Okay? Alright. Spider push up. Get ready. It's five each side. Ready? Set and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right, feet in the barn. I felt like with the, the 15 a little bit too much, I'm going to come down and do 12. Alright, so palm the hands facing your head, like you're getting ready to go bicep curl. Elbows resting on the mat to get started. You're going to press it straight up, palm the hands going to go for, towards the back of the room. Ready, set, go. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe it out. Breathe out, lift. Chest, 
palms of the hands up, pressing against each other, and the dumbbells are pressing against each other, and we lift it, and bring it down to the center of the chest, press it up, all right, so that's going to be one. Our second one is going to be the dips. So you're going to come and look right at the dips right here. If you want a little bit more, you can do one leg up. You can also cross your legs right here if you like. Um, if that does not work for you, you can do a triceps extension overhead. Alright, I wouldn't do seated. I would just come up to my knees here. And I do that. Okay? If you can't come to the floor, uh, it's hard for you to move. You can do a scoop. Uh, or as a matter of fact, go ahead and do like a, a hex press. Standing, and then you can go into the triceps extension overhead. Standing. These are just modifications. So otherwise, if you need it, if you don't need it, just do it with me. All right, here we go. So lay down on your back, knees a bit. Bring the dumbbells together, right on the top of your chest, and press it up. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three. One more. Woo. All right, get ready for the dip. Starting three, two, one, and go down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo. All right, so. You're done with these. I'm going to actually move this one out of the way. I was hopeful I was going to use this one today, but no, I'm not. I think 20 pounds is not going to happen. Alright. For the next one, I do advise you to start with lightweight. 
okay? It's called a tape press. Um, and again, it's one of those that does involve like the elbow, so you want to be really careful. Am I actually going to do eight pounds for this one? Yeah, I may get a ten, but I'm going to start with the eight here just to check and see how I feel. So I don't feel the strongest today. <laughs> I, I feel like a little not so strong. Okay. So for the tape press, you start with the palms of the hands facing out, and then you start to turn the dumbbell in so that the dumbbells are touching on the bottom and your hand is, toward, is facing towards the chest. So out and in. As you can see, this movement involves a lot of that elbow motion. So if you already have some issues, you do want to be careful with this one. All right? So here is a modification for you. Uh, I'll get something light. And what I'll do, instead of bringing both of them at the same time, I will just bring one at a time to the opposite shoulder, okay? So this triceps extension here, one at a time. The angle is a little bit different because you don't have to come out so out. So it's not gonna push and press so much in the elbow because from here, you come straight down. So you are keeping the elbow parallel with the shoulder, all right? So that's a modification for you. Um, the next one after that, we have a tricep press to a double scroll pressure. So you start with the tricep press, and then bring the dumbbells towards the ear, extend it up, and bring it down again. All right? Okay, I am keeping the eight pounds for all of these. So we'll start with the elbows extended, palms and the hands facing the back of the room, facing your legs. Starting three, two, one, and go. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Oh gosh, it's silly. <laughs> I just keep coming back to my training sessions all day today. <laughs> Whenever I say Siri, think I'm talking to him. Which, if you have noticed, my Siri is actually on Australia and that. Oh no, it's not on Australia anymore. I switched, I think it's New Zealand. Yeah. I like different accents. So, I don't want to keep the same Siri all the time. I already had British. <laughs> I had Australian. And I think this is like a New Zealand English, I think. All right, two more. Another one. Woo! All right, bring those elbows in. Try to press to double scope crush. You're starting five, four, three, two, one, and go. Press it up. And then bring the dumbbells towards your ears. Turn the palm to the hands now facing each other. We're going to start with the tricep press into that discrepant question. Three, two, one, and go.
tummy, rest a little bit. Facing each other. Starting three, two, one, and go. Try to press to double skull pressure. Three, two, one, and go. Crack. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, the third round we're going to do half and half on these. All right, get ready. Out of presses. Last time. Ready, set, and go. Stretch the front of your shoulders. 
Head to the side. You're finishing on time or having closure. So like, well, let's, let's have closure. All right, hold both hands up. All right, tricep stretch. And switch sides. Let's go ahead and find a wall. Bring the elbow in a 90 degree here. And start turning towards the opposite direction. And then slowly turn the other side. Oh, that feels so good. All right, let me release. Let's finish it up with three deep breaths. Here we go. Breathe in. And breathe out. My arms feel heavy. Here we go. In. And out. And last one. All right, everybody. Great job. Thanks so much for joining me here. Make sure you let me know you did this workout. And let's see you next time. Bye.